This is Morgan from MorganOnScience.com, Meta Morgan on Twitter, and today I want to talk about grant reviewers and reviewer psychology. So, so how did this come up? Well, I'm here in, in Rockville, Maryland at the ENCODE Consortium meeting. So the ENCODE stands for Encyclopedia of DNA Elements. And it's all about figuring out the human genome. You know, it's been almost 10 years since the human genome was pu first published in, in 2000. And we're still working hard on figuring out where all the genes are and what they do. Um, it's, it's a huge international effort and um, there's a lot of exciting progress being made, but huge, huge challenges. So how it relates to the subject today of grants and reviewer psychology is this key concept. I ran into, um, I ran into a colleague who is just uh, submitting an R01. He's a very, very successful scientist, and he's submitting an R01 competitive renewal. That's, that's the primary research grant given out by the NIH's R01s. Um, and, and so uh, we were talking about grant writing and, and grant reviewing a little bit. And he sort of, he indicated one of the things he said is, well, you know, re reviewers never really tell you what they're thinking. You know, they pick on all the little details just as a, as a justification for things, but, but they're not telling you really, really why they didn't like the grant. And, and this echoes something that I've, I've taught again and again and again. It's so important that, you know, a lot of young scientists, if you, if you get a, a you know, proposal review back, but a lot of times you'll look at this proposal review and say, oh, they didn't like that, and 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 they didn't like that. And it's just, it's really disheartening, actually. I've been there, and, and it's really, it's sad because you look at these reviews, and you look at all the things that um, the people name as problems, and, and you're like, wow, how, how can I fix all that stuff? That's so much to fix. I can't fix A and B and C and D and E and, e and F and, you know, there are too many things. But, but really, the, the good news is that that's all just covering up an emotional response that the reviewer had to your proposal, and it was just some negative re emotional response that they had. You know, it can be because your grant proposal was too dense, not well enough organized, they really didn't get excited, um, you know, there can be a multiple reasons why, and I'll talk some about those reasons in future episodes, but the key point is they just didn't like your proposal. If they're picking on you, if they seem like they're picking on you, it's because they didn't like you. Think about a date. It's like dating. If you go on a date with somebody, let's say a blind date or something, and you just don't hit it off with the person, you just don't like them for whatever reason, you know, and let's say they call you up and they want to go on another date, and you just really don't want to, are you going to say, well, I just don't like you. I think you're, you know, I think you're a bad per uh, well, you wouldn't say bad person, but I just don't like you, sorry. Most people won't say that. Most people will actually say, well, I, I actually, you know, I I'm busy, I'm not really looking to date right now. You know, they'll come up with all sorts of excuses for why they don't want to go on a second date. They won't just say, I don't like you, um, unless they're really blunt. And, and it's the same thing in grant reviewing. The reviewers are not going to be really blunt about why they didn't like your proposal. Um, you know, probably because they're, because they're trying to be nice and sometimes because they don't even know what they're thinking. I mean, they're not familiar enough with their own emotions to actually express those emotions that they're having in response to your grant proposal. So they pick on details. So that's a key point. Uh, in grant writing is to realize how to interpret those reviews and to realize that what a reviewer is writing to you in those reviews is almost never actually what their problem is with your grant proposal. And in, in an upcoming episode, um, I'm going to talk specifically about one of the most important things to give that reviewer a positive impression so they have a great, great response to your grant proposal and they get excited about it. So until next time, I, I am looking forward to seeing you in the future episode. And again, this is Morgan from Morgan on Science and Meta Morgan on Twitter. See you later.